Well, they just had a huge error. Uh, they were trying to get that machine out and I guess they didn't get it fully out from the frame and the entire house fell off of the blocks. Today's day two of getting the house set. Uh, there's a pretty big crew out here today. Uh, what they're doing right now, mainly is they got this crazy little machine right here, which I'll show you in action. Uh, can pick up the whole house and move it just a couple inches uh, just to straighten it out if I wanna make any small changes. Uh, so I'm gonna have them move it about another six inches. And uh, yeah, so I'll show you what it looks like. So this crew, what they're doing today, obviously they moved the house over. I'm not sure if we took a good enough video yesterday, but you can see that we moved the whole house probably three or four feet to the right. Um, previously, it was sitting like right here. It was really close to the H-frame. It was just really far on this side of the pad. Uh, so I went ahead and have them move it uh, numerous feet. They also straightened it out because it wasn't perfectly level yesterday. Um, but anyways, what this crew mainly is working on today is uh, getting it completely off the wheels you can see this guy here uh, under the house he's removing all the wheels uh, they're doing the same on the other side and then they're gonna start uh, getting the concrete poured and setting on the blocks Well, they just had a huge error. Uh, they were trying to get that machine out and I guess they didn't get it fully out from the frame and the entire house fell off of the blocks. So, uh, yeah, right now I'm just, I'm filming this with my phone. So hopefully you can hear me. I don't have a good microphone on it. Uh, I didn't have the camera nearby, but yeah, the entire house is sitting on the ground and uh, I hope that nothing broke. Luckily nobody got hurt, so that's the good thing. When they were trying to pull out that machine, I guess it didn't fully disconnect from the frame and they literally pulled the entire house off of the blocks that they had just set. So the whole house is uh, leaning on one side right now and uh, they're over there kind of in emergency mode trying to fix it with that machine. So uh, kind of unfortunate, but the good thing about solitaire homes is these suckers are really strong. They build them really well. I highly doubt there's any they're gonna be I highly doubt that there will be anything wrong with the house itself uh, because of how well built they are but I guess we'll just have to see what happens um, so they're over there with the machine I'll zoom in in just a second and uh, show you them trying to fix what happened Thank you. 
All right, well, it looks like they got the house uh, pretty much leveled again. So it's no longer sitting on one side. Uh, it looks relatively level. I think they got it set back on those blocks right there. So I think the house is standing on its own again without that machine. Um, but they're definitely going to have a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of corrections to do now. I'm not sure if the house is exactly in the same spot as it was before. Uh, so they might need to use that machine a little bit more and, and fix some stuff. Uh, but we'll get it figured out. Again, it, it's one of those things, you know, accidents happen. Uh, no matter what job or uh, career field you're in, stuff like this can happen, you know. Um, it's just important that no one got hurt and uh, it doesn't seem like the house really sustained any damage that we can tell so uh you know I i'm not gonna i'm not up upset about it i'm just glad everyone's okay So it looks like for the most part they have uh, all the blocks set and leveled and shimmed and everything like that. So the house should be um, pretty much completely level as far as I am aware. You can see these are the uh, anchors that they tie down to the house. So that anchor goes like three feet into the ground and then there's a strap that goes up to the frame. and. Uh, that helps keep everything secure and level and of course uh, helps if there's any uh, storms with really really high high uh, winds so that wraps up the delivery and installation process we had a big complication as you saw there but it all worked out to be okay um, earlier in the video I did say that there was no or we didn't believe there was any damage that actually ended up not being true there was two spots where the cinder block piers that they are, had already set made contact with the floor joists as it fell. That caused the floor joist to break. Um, so what they had to do is rip up the carpet and the subfloor and then go in and refasten those uh, floor joists and then add some extra braces and stuff to make it even stronger. Then they obviously relayed the subfloor and the carpet. Um, so it was unfortunate. It definitely wasn't ideal. It shouldn't have happened but there's nothing we could do about it. You know, what happened happened, they fixed it, and he already said that if there's any issues in the future, he'll come back and he'll fix those too. So it all worked out to be okay, um, just kind of sucked at the time. <laughs> um, but other than that, the septic and the water and the electric are all hooked up. We just need the HVAC to get hooked up, which should be coming soon. And then a bunch of small projects, there's some little renovations and stuff, and we'll be ready to move in. So we have a bunch of fun stuff coming. Um, and we'll make sure to film as much as we can so we can show you guys. And with that, I've noticed we're getting a couple new subscribers. So uh, to everyone that's subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing to us. For anyone that's not, if you're watching this, please hit that like and subscribe button. It really, really helps us. We're trying to grow this channel. We really want to make this, uh, this channel last and we want to share our journey with you. So make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And I'm going to show you some drone videos here in a second. Just so you know, I'm not a professional with the drone. Uh, I haven't figured out how to get the quality perfect. It was kind of laggy and stuff, but I still wanted to use it and show a couple video or a couple videos of the house from kind of some cool aerial shots. So, anyways, don't judge me too hard, but I'll show you some drone shots. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.